What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Grave Uncut. Today, I want to ask you guys a question. Have you ever seen a gaming franchise take its product and just beat it half to death? What I'm talking about is Call of Duty. That's right, they've announced a teaser, well, they've announced the next Call of Duty game, which is Black Ops 4. And as somebody that used to be a big Call of Duty fanatic, I'm skeptical, just like a lot of people, but the thing is, it's still a popular franchise, and still a lot of people like to play it. But, when is it going to be too much? And I'm talking about the same format, the same nonsense, all you do is add in a couple of jetpacks and some laser guns. That's not the Call of Duty I was, I've been used to, and thanks for sneezing in my ear. Anyway... Today, I got a little thing for you. It's going to be a mix of reaction. It's going to be a mix of just making fun of a lot of things with the Call of Duty community. The big thing being the two Call of Duty fanboys, the old school and the new school Call of Duty fanboys. <laughs> anyway, what's the whole thing is they've announced the next Call of Duty. And the biggest joke out of it is, I think, act, I know what Activision probably went for. They probably, like, with their logo, they went with uh, tally marks and not the Roman numerals. But I was just about to say, um, did anybody tell Activision that the actual numeral for uh, the number four is, it's got a V in there somewhere. I'm pretty sure there's a V in there. Anyway, so we got the next Call of Duty. Now, the last Call of Duty I've ever played was Black Ops 3. And let's put it this way, I, I love that game. I hauled ass in that game. Me and my friends enjoyed it, for the most part, until it got stale, as it usually does. Because that's the, that's the usual format with the Call of Duty games with me lately. It's got a couple of good... You get a couple of good months out of it. You get bored to the DLC. You play the DLC for about a week. So on wash, rinse, wash, and repeat. But I, again, the last, like, Call of Duty that I actually purchased was uh, Black Ops 3. Uh, so, don't get me wrong, I've played the betas for, like, the last couple of them. So, World War II and et cetera, et cetera. But they didn't have the same draw that the older ones had. Again, like, the last one that I really, really enjoyed was Black Ops 1. But it was just the same old, same old bullshit. And I understand World War Two. they went back to, like, non uh, freaking jetpack, non-wall-jumping nonsense. I'll be honest with you, I was actually waiting for one stupid thing being, it's like, oh yeah, in the next DLC, you're going to be able to unlock Hitler's jetpack. Luckily, that wasn't a thing. That would have been a dumb fucking idea. Anyway, moving on from that, of course, with the new Call of Duty, you're going to have your fanboys on both sides of the fence. Yo, what the fuck? Why would they do this? This series used to be good, now it's just fucking trash with laser guns and bullshit, yo. Man, what the fuck, man? What the fuck has Activision been doing? Man, I miss the days of Black Ops 1 where the games didn't suck. Oh my god, this is the most innovative card ever. Oh, look at those graphics. What do you mean the game sucks? You suck. Fuck this game! So as I said, they released a teaser trailer for the next Call of Duty. So let's get my reaction to what we're going to be expecting here. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. I see they got uh, the drones. Well, I think this is just all looking back to uh, Black Ops 2 and 3. And there's that freaking logo. Alright, so we got a global launch in October and the community reveal event. So, the trailer didn't really forget what you know. 
So am I supposed to forget how to play Call of Duty? What's what's that supposed to mean? Didn't really give a whole lot. I don't know, maybe I gotta rewatch it or something, but all it was was just like flashback footage to the old Call of Duty games, the old Black Ops games, like Black Ops 1, 2, and 3. I don't know, I might still check out the game. I might still buy it just for the nostalgia of it. It's definitely, I don't think it's gonna have the same pull it did. I mean, it's probably gonna have more pull than World War II did. Even though, yeah, from what I'm aware of, a lot of people still like World War, the World War II, but I just never, like, just from playing the beta on that, I wasn't that crazy about it. I guess we gotta see uh, when it releases in October, and see in, like, substantial in May when they release the uh, reveal trailer. Alright, so I really don't know. I might, I might go back to it for just the shits and giggles, because, again, I've gotten the itch to actually play a Call of Duty, and I haven't had one in a while since... Black Ops 3, but I'm mostly gonna probably play it for the zombie mode and maybe some of the multiplayer. It won't really like withstand the time that it's probably gonna be out because again, like you, when you're dropping a game like every year, it's gonna lose its its pull. Like even I'm gonna take Assassin's Creed Origins for example. It's, Ubisoft used to drop an Assassin's Creed uh, game every year from, I think, the up until uh, Syndicate. Then they took time off, and then they made an amazing game like Assassin's Creed Origins. Maybe that's the step that Activision, Activision should take, but being the way they are as a company, they guaranteed won't. But it's just, uh, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. My opinion on it's gonna be that it might actually be able to help the series, but at the same time, it might not. So anyway, guys, I wanna thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video. Please feel free to check out my previous video and also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And also check out my gaming channel. Hey, and remember, support your small channels.